In this record, recording, I'm going to show you two things. One is how to copy your OneNote notebook to SharePoint, and the other is how to create a notebook in SharePoint using OneNote. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the notebook that I want to copy. And so I'm going to right click on it. I am not going to use Save As. That does not give us the outcome we want. Instead, please go to Properties, which is at the bottom. Click on Properties and then click on Change Location at the top. Type in HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash SharePoint dot Academy dot org forward slash homework and hit enter on your keyboard. Then you're going to double click on faculty, then double click on your name, and then click select. It'll let you know that OneNote is syncing changes. So what is happening is a copy of OneNote, whatever uh, notebook you have in OneNote, is being copied to SharePoint and it's opening that copy within OneNote. The copy that's on your hard drive will remain there but it will ultimately be closed at this point. So all changes will take place on your copy in SharePoint. You can always get your original copy the way it was before you made changes by opening it on your hard driver in your My Documents folder. So the copy that was in your My Documents folder is now being closed and no changes will happen to that copy unless you go and open that copy up. So now I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to show you in SharePoint what happens. So here I am in SharePoint. I'm going to scroll down to my name. I'm going to click on it, which will show me all the folders that I have. And you'll see that Math 7, the notebook that I just copied, is now here. Again, whenever I make any changes back in Math 7 in OneNote, those changes will take place on SharePoint. And since SharePoint is web-based, it doesn't matter if I'm at school or at home, it is getting backed up at all times. To create a workbook in OneNote on SharePoint, I create a notebook like I normally would. I click on File, New, but this time I'm going to click on Network instead of on My Computer. And then I give it a name. I'm going to put Pretend Notebook and a network location. So I'm going to type the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash SharePoint dot carry Academy dot org forward slash homework. I can click on browse. Go to faculty, choose my name, and then click on select. And then down beneath this uh, capture is a button that says Create Notebook, so I'll click there. You'll see a couple of uh, messages come up to let you know that this is working. After three messages, you then get this message, and I'm just going to click No Thanks. And you'll notice, if you scroll down, I have Pretend Notebook ready to go. Again, this notebook is located on SharePoint and all changes I make will be occurring on SharePoint. You'll have students create their notebooks this way in OneNote at the beginning of the school year or whenever you start using OneNote um, and then they'll be dragging their information into their notebook from your SharePoint and I'll show you that in a different video.